Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing some news regarding Ninjago Dragons Rising that some Ninjago fans might not like the sound of right away, but eventually Ninjago fans might warm up to this news. Now, recently, a few LEGO Ambassador Network members interviewed a few members of the Ninjago Dragons Rising team. I did not catch the full interview, nor do I plan to, but the Ninjago Wiki compiled some of the key points of information for our viewing pleasure. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about what was said regarding the overview of the ninja's role in the series of Ninjago Dragons Rising. I'm talking about the original six ninja here. Let's just read what was said and then we can dive on into my personal thoughts and maybe talk about how this could change the Ninjago series. So, overview of the ninja's role in the series. And of course, all of this information comes courtesy of Asa Tate, an executive producer working at Ninjago. We have new main characters, but the original heroes of Ninjago are still here fighting the good fight. Lloyd, Aaron, and Sora will remain the heart of this team, but the makeup of the team can and will change from year to year. Other slots will be filled with a mix of new and returning ninja each year. None of the original six ninja are really going anywhere, but there will be some years where they simply will not feature that much in the story itself. However, that does not mean that they will be completely absent from the main story. While they may not feature in the main TV show, we could see some shorts, comic books, all sorts of smaller episodes, where you could see each of the ninja on their own adventures, showing that basically since the world has expanded, the different team members are kind of going off and doing their own thing. So what exactly does this all mean? Well, bottom line, the ninja team will be rotating members every single year for Ninjago Dragons Rising. We also know that Dragons Rising is not just going to be a single one-off season. It's going to be this new series. Multiple seasons will fall under the Dragons Rising title, and this will go on for several, several years. Dragons Rising is not just a one-and-done thing, and like he said, since the world of Ninjago has expanded with all of the realms basically fusing to Ninjago, it would make sense for the ninja to not necessarily be in the same place at the same time anymore. The world has just grown 16 times its original size. The ninja are needed elsewhere too. And the series will show that by swapping out team members of the main core six member team. He did say old and new ninja will swap out every single year. So in addition to Eren and Sora, we might be seeing even more new ninja join the team. And I think that's the most important thing to take away here. Even though we are going to be rotating team members, the original ninja are not going anywhere. Sure, they're not going to be the main focus anymore, but it makes sense given the new environment that Ninjago Dragons Rising has been building. It makes sense that not every ninja will be around constantly 24-7 all the time like they were in previous Ninjago installments. And I also like how they mentioned how we could be getting comic books and even maybe some other Ninjago shorts featuring some new adventures of our older ninja. I think that's a fantastic idea. It keeps the older ninja around and active, but it also introduces new team members that new audience members can enjoy and appreciate as new fans. So what does this mean for Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 1, the season that we're going to be seeing this year? What will the team look like? Well, I think that's pretty obvious already. We have our core heart, Lloyd, Aaron, and Sora, with Kai and Nia joining, along with maybe a couple of other side characters, such as maybe Wildfire, if this drawing from Asa Tate is anything to go off of. But according to the Ninjago Dragons Rising sets, we will be seeing Zane, Jay, and and Cole at some point in this season as well, probably during part two. So maybe the part one team could see Kai and Nia join the team, while in part two, the focus will be on Cole, Zane, and Jay, but that's just all speculation on my part. I'm sure this is going to take some getting used to for some Ninjago fans out there, and that's totally understandable. This is a pretty major change, but I feel like it's a pretty good change to the Ninjago series in general, and I'm excited to see what types of combinations we can make with the Ninja team going forward. But of course, guys, with that being said, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Just giving my quick thoughts as to what was said in this interview regarding some Ninjago Dragons Rising staff members and some of their input regarding, well, Ninjago Dragons Rising. Leave all your thoughts down below. Do you like this change? Do you not like this change? But as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so very much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.